Hey guys, it's your girl Kim. Welcome to the channel. You are now tuned in to Sweet Kiss Creations. And I have a message um, from the Father. Glory be to God. This is a message of correction. And the Father is saying what is about to come is something that is serious. So let's just get into the prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for a time to come together in a time, Lord God, to fellowship, oh God, a time to read your word. Father God, I ask that as I decrease, you increase, oh God. Oh, Father God, let it be all of you and none of me. Let there be no distractions, Lord God. Let your word go forth and your people hear your word, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. So this word, prophetic word, it's coming from Isaiah, the ninth chapter, 7 through 17. And it is a bit lengthy. So in order to cut it down, I am going to um, kind of explain as I'm going along. All right. So here we go. So Isaiah 9 and 7. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Glory be to God. All right, so God is pretty much saying that there's no way that you're going to stop his justice. His, his children are going to reign because Jesus came for it, right? And because we are heirs to the throne with Christ, we are in the David, the David covenant as well. So he's saying that he's going to pour out his wrath on people that have been arrogant, that have been stubborn, don't want to repent, that have been causing injustices to his children. Let's read, okay? judgment on the arrogance and the oppression glory be to god the lord has sent a word against jacob and it will fall on israel and all the people will know ephraim and the inhabitants of samaria who say in pride and in arrogance of heart the bricks have fallen but we will build it with dressed stones the sycamores have been cut down but we will put cedar in their place but the lord raises the adversaries of resin against him and stirs up his enemies so for these people that have been oppressing god's children and also this is also for like business um in in, in high places of, of politics uh politicians um even people in the church that hold high positions oh my goodness y'all listen god is not playing the syrians on the east and the, and the the philistines on on the west devour israel with open mouth for all this his anger has not turned away and his hand is stretched out still his hand of justice glory be to god the people did not turn to him who struck them nor inquire of the lord of hosts so the lord cut off from israel head and tail palm branch and reed and every day the elder and honored man is the head and the prophet who teaches lies is the tail so the father is saying even some people that have been in ministry that have not been operating by his system he is about to remove from office uh-huh even some prophets oh my goodness he is not playing these king these people that are in high authority and high positions the wealthy he is about to take out a place for those who god the people have been leading them astray and those who are guided by them are swallowed up therefore the lord does not rejoice over their young men and has no compassion over their fatherless and widows for for everyone of godless and evil doors an evil door and every mouth speaks folly for all this his anger has not turned away and his hand is stretched out still glory be to god and as i was reading this i was like lord what are you telling me and the holy spirit told me keep reading so he he told me to read until the 14th verse of the next chapter guys y'all put your, your seatbelt on buckle up here we go okay so isaiah 10 through 14 reads this way woe to those who decree iniquitous decrees i'm reading in the english standard versions for those that want to know um 
Okay, so woe to those who decree iniquitous decrees and the writers who keep writing oppression to turn aside the needy from justice and to rob the poor of my people for their right that widows may be their spoil and that they may make their fatherless their prey so what they god is saying these people have oppressed his people even the people that are poor even widows even fatherless they've not given mercy even though they're in place of power they've not um uh, they've not taken account of his will and put it into place and because of this the father is about to remove these people he's saying they're using his people as prey not p r a y but p r e y and the father is not pleased at all period what will you do on the day of punishment in the ruin that will come from afar to whom will you flee for help and where will you leave your wealth this is a question glory be to god nothing remains but to crouch among the prisoners or fall among the slain for all this his anger has not turned away and his hand is stretched out still oh my the level kura bashata to assyria the rod of my anger there they rod go again the rod of my anger the staff in their hand hands is my fury against a godless nation i send him and against the people of my wrath i command him to take spoil and seize the plunder and to tread them down like the mirror of the street but he does not so intend so his heart does not so think but it is in his heart to destroy and to cut off nations not a few for he says, are not my commanders all kings? Is not Calno like a carch, carker, I can't say that. Y'all know I ain't a theologian. Listen, Carcamash is not Hamath like Arpad. Is not Samaria like this, Damascus? He said, listen, everybody in his kingdom is a king. It does not matter if you have not seen them with wealth or not. They are still my people. Why are you touching my people? Oh my goodness, the Lord is not playing. He said, as my hand has reached to the kingdoms of the idols whose carved images were greater than those of Jerusalem and Samaria, shall I not do to Jerusalem and her idols as I have done to Samaria and her images? The father ain't playing. Listen, when the Lord has finished all his work on Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, he will punish the speech of the arrogant uh, heart of the king of Assyria and the boastful look in his eyes. When I got to the 12th verse, the father said, what I just read is the 12th verse. When I got to the 12th verse, the father gave me a vision of a king in full like dress, a robe, like a a, a, a red robe in the crown and he had his nose tilted up like this like yeah hmm, you can't tell me nothing right it's the arrogance of heart god searches the man's heart because anybody can say anything but what are you really meditating on what are you thinking on this is what the father is saying for he says by the 13 for he says by the strength of my hand i have done it and by my wisdom for i have understanding i remove the boundaries of people and plunder their tree their treasures like a bull i bring down those who sit on thrones my hand has found like a nest the wealth of the peoples and as one gathers eggs that have been forsaken so i have gathered all the earth and there was none that moved a wing or open the mouth of the church the father is saying he is about to take wealth away from unrighteous people away from evil doing people there are some people in positions for his children and you're about to inherit the wealth of the wicked it's bad news for those people that have not been living for the Lord. That have that have chosen, have been warned repeatedly, whether it be the, the father speaking directly to them or whether it be by his children, by his prophets. They have been warned repeatedly to stop and they will not stop. So the father is saying he is about to remove these people from office. He's about to remove these people out of their position and his children are going to occupy these positions because people look at you. They may look at you as if you're nothing and politicians may look at you as if you are nothing. But the father is saying, 
speak Holy Spirit. The Father is saying, all of my people are kings. All of my people shall ring. It does not matter where you are from. It does not matter how much money is your in your bank account. Your treasures are laid up in heaven and because you have trusted the Father. The Father is about to entrust you to your wealth transfer. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Glory be to God. The Father is moving. He's not playing. So if you find yourself in fear right now at this word, because I'm, I'm very passionate and when I speak, it just comes out. So excuse me for yelling. I'm excited. And and you, I know you would say, why are you excited at, at this? But this is the Father showing us he loves us. He's saying the injustices that you went through, I see what you, you have gone through. And I love you because you are my children. And I will not let this stand. The Father is saying he is going to take justice. He says, you thought you labored in vain? You thought that those tears were in vain? No, the Father is saying, I am moving these people out of position so that my children will inherit their birthright. It's some people that are in position that have your spot. Mm. So that thing that he told you to work on and don't tell anybody about, oh, Rabbi the Lobo Shata, in the secret place when you were with him, when he was telling you that he was going to make you rich, he was going to make you wealthy, he was going to make you healthy. This is what the Father is talking about. You are about to walk into a season of overflow. Glory be to God. But if you are in a place of fear and you know you need to repent, now is the time to go before the Father and to repent and to and repent with your whole heart, not just so the wrath doesn't fall on you but repent turn back from your wicked ways he said if my people that are called by my name will pray unto me will confess their sins turn from their wicked ways i will hear their prayer and i will heal the land so right now in the name of jesus father god we thank you for this word oh god we thank you father god for your spirit we thank you for your justice oh god we thank you father god that you're moving mightily by your spirit oh father god for that for you're not a man that you should lie nor a son of man that you should repent oh god but father god in the name of jesus we ask lord god for anybody that's watching this video that needs to repent god that you will forgive them oh god oh father god that you'll lead them and guide them by your spirit oh god father god that they'll turn away from pride oh god and arrogance in the name of jesus oh god that you continue to keep them lord god in the name of jesus lord god for you are holy you are faithful and you are merciful god oh god you are forgiving god lord god because you forgive us even though we have wronged Oh God, and we thank you in advance, Lord God, for the inheritance, oh God, for our inheritance, for the promised land, oh God, for overflow, oh God. We thank you, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. We say these things in Jesus' mighty, magnificent, matchless name. Amen and amen. I thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, I love you with the love of Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah.